guys, it's Laura with Quilted Chicken. And if you can't tell, we're in the middle of our living room. Uh, we, uh, it's, it's a few weeks till Christmas, and so we have quilting deadlines. Uh, so we've spent all day quilting and sewing and binding. Uh, so tonight, uh, for our rest and relaxation, uh, our break, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna sit in the living room and sew some more. We're working on our Moda Blockheads 4. Here is block 14. Uh, this is an alternate block. Um, the actual um, release block that they had was an applique. Uh, it's called Bird on a Branch. Um, there is the large, and then there is for the small, and it's literally just this bird uh, put on a blank, uh, a single background square. Um, we will probably go back and do this, talk a little bit about applique, but tonight, since we're in a different spot and I've got everything else kind of pulled out and set up, we're gonna stick to the regular sewing. Um, this is just a set of bow ties, um, all going the same direction. Uh, if you can see, the, you can actually, if you alternate same blocks, if you just turn them, you can create kind of a wheel. Um, and then, of course, if we change the um, value of the fabric on the center of those little tiny sections, uh, we can get a fun little, I mean, it, it changes it completely. So we'll see uh, what fabrics we like. Hopefully our dogs will um, be kind and patient and stay sleeping. Um, uh, we'll let the sleeping dogs lie. Um, we're going to get going. We're going to get our fabrics picked out and see what turns up. I do quite a bit of sewing in here, actually. I've got a little uh, ottoman set up. Uh, you can see I pulled a, I've got a, just a, this is actually the calendar. It's a, just a board that's got some chalk fabric on it. Um, but it makes for a great tabletop. Um, and it's not that uncomfortable. Uh, you can, I sit, uh, I've got the ironing board over on the side, so you just have to pick that up. The sewing machine is right there. I'm not having to do a bunch of up and down and around and around. The solid blocks for A are two and three quarters, so that's a pretty good size. I do really like this. I like this little colorway. You know, it would kind of be fun if we did it all, if we alternated and had these little small triangles uh, running this direction, we may try that. So we'll pick a light background. And it looks like they've got two different colors. We'll see what colors we think. So I took, uh, I have a fun little app that I use to help organize things, um, quilts and such, uh, trying to, to, keep, to keep my day on track. And um, I've sat and worked through and figured out um, almost quadruple on quilt volume to get everything finished for everybody. And it probably would not be as big of a deal if I was not taking two weeks um, being gone. Uh, I've got a work thing out of town um, that we're going to be doing and then I am going to go and see my daughter for Thanksgiving and I am super excited about that and uh, I'm going to stay probably about a week. The flights back of course make it easier to stay longer uh, so that you're not paying an arm and a leg to come home on a weekend. Um, so that's going to be my little vacation. Uh, so it's worth the uh, stressing about getting um, uh, 12 quilts done knowing that those two weeks are going to be nice and relaxing. I don't want to have to deal with thinking about how a stripe is going to run uh, so we're gonna we're gonna not worry about those. So the section of this um, is two and a half 
uh, and so on, since I don't want to try to worry about losing this middle section, we won't worry with that fabric either. Oh, and it was nice. I got a call today from uh, a lady who is wanting to do a project for a friend for Christmas and has a pattern picked out and has a fabric that she likes, um, but of course it's hard to tell online what fabrics look nice together and how they're gonna lay out. So I got to sit tonight and play with some fabrics for a little bit to take some pictures, send those to her so she can pick uh, the fabrics to do her Christmas present with. So that was that's always fun to help. And then I had a lady come in uh, from Florida. Her parents live here, but she is out of state. Um, they stopped in and visited for a little bit, and that's always nice to see what people elsewhere are doing uh, project-wise and just in life-wise in general. It's always nice to meet a friendly face. This is, we're gonna work with this for our, oh, let's make this, Maybe the background? Our dog does not agree with me. So we're going to use this as our background where the white is here and then this will be uh, where the dark color is and then our squares hopefully uh, I'll halfway through if I, I'll see if we if I've got enough we may have to pick another we might also use um, this it'll just depend on the size of the blocks all right So uh, for a block, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks at two and three quarters. reason I wasn't too upset about coming in here and working on stiff is like I said earlier uh, I do it quite frequently if you are going to travel or if you're going to take get some new notions um, to work with on projects I would recommend doing it practicing with them before you take on a great big huge project but something that you're not comfortable with using um, this is a different ruler than I usually have it's a different cutting mat than I usually have um, on our on the other videos that we do but because I kind of I keep them out here and this is what I work with out here um, it's I'm not having to uh, worry about uh, am I reading this properly if I got this lined up on the right lines um, so th think about that when you travel or go or even just getting new stuff sometimes it's hard it's like getting a new car or riding or driving your friend's car, you get in it and you're like, where in the world is the, are the windshield wipers? How do I turn the blinker off and on? Uh, same thing with sewing. Um, I've, I've, I'm gonna be working on a different machine, but it's a machine that I have worked on for the mini sew along, because that's something that I do in here in the evening. So make, make sure that you're comfortable with the tools that you're working with because it does make a difference if you're frustrated to some maybe with how some things are working out it maybe try a different cutter try a different ruler it may not be you it may be your the tools that you have at your disposal all right so here are the eight squares for a uh, and then we also need eight squares for uh, C same size, two and three quarters. Oh, and you know what? In my last video, I was fancy and um, did a little whoosh whoosh and did all the cutting off of this off site and just made them appear. Goes to show how long it's been since I've 
worked on a project. I totally forgot to be cool. So you'll just have to deal with me cutting slowly and rambling on about things. Hopefully, hopefully there's enough contrast and that stands out. I'm questioning my decision. We might do this instead. Um, can we, yeah, let me see. Although this, this looks just, there's as much of a difference on this as there is on the polka dot, I think. Triangles for B are cut at one and three quarters, and then of course they're gonna be uh, a quarter inch around the outside, so that would be one and a quarter folded in half. I'm afraid that the polka dots might be, they might be too small for them. We'll stick with this. If we don't like it, we can always make another one, or we can just be happy with what we've got which is probably what I will do. So we need four, uh, I'm sorry, we need eight one and three quarter inch squares for B. Oh, we just got in uh, and I, I'm, I'm thinking about it because this is a Carolina Lily fabric from Robin Pickens, her new line. Pansies Posies uh, just came in. Uh, so cute. I love her, her illustrations. The only thing I feel weird about sitting in here sewing is that the television's not on. Usually that's, uh, we will have the TV playing something. Uh, and because this is a tonal print, uh, I am going to go ahead and turn all of my pieces face up so that when I go to sewing them, I don't have to try to figure out which is the correct side. So all of our one and three quarter inch squares are going to be sewn and flipped on a corner of our one of each of our C squares. So it's literally right sides together. We'll draw a line here. And for this one, we, we're gonna stitch directly on that line. We'll trim our quarter inch. And then that will be our, that'll be our corner there. This, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be super simple. I'm excited. Because I do have a large print like this, I am going to be careful about which uh, section I put the block on as to whether or not you want to see more of the background or more of the flower. So that's something to think about with a big print. And this may actually be the first time that I've actually sewn, I'm sorry, drawn on the backs of these. A lot of times the squares are small enough that uh, I can just eyeball it. Um, also on my other machine, I've got um, that diagonal seam tape that you set on the machine uh, and you can watch your corner as you sew to make sure that you keep it, you're keeping it straight. I do not have that on this machine. so to make sure uh, that I stay on track. We're actually marking all of the pieces that I say we have to mark. those edges off we're going to press these seams open. 
So now it's just a matter of laying out the block. That's literally all it has been. The part that's going to make it interesting is the fact that we've got um, this um, directional print here. Um, if you had if you had a large print, if you had a polka dot, if you had something else. What do we think? So, oh! Huh. I'm looking to see if I need to move this thing anywhere, if it's going to be better off in a corner. Yeah, we'll stick it in the corner. Okay. Hooray! some funny stuff on the uh, back side putting the initial two blocks together there was only a seam here uh, and so I pressed it toward the solid block but then of course uh, when we did our seams across this direction um, there was going to be bulk one way or the other so I went ahead and pressed those open so uh, on the small block, I will go ahead and press our seams open on all of them. Also, I am glad that we did this first block uh, because I was not checking. We're a little bit short on uh, uh, the first section of seams that I did. Um, with it being our large block and with there not really being anything to have to match over here, I'm not going to worry about it so that when we get, when we put it together, um, in our big block, I'll uh, come in a little bit on each of these sides. This side, we're good. This side, we're a little bit shy. Uh, again, using a different different machine, uh, I did I, my quarter inch is in a little bit different different place, uh, but not too bad overall. And there's it's pretty high contrast too. I, I'm liking that. That looks nice. So now for the tiny block. Whoosh. On the four and a half inch block, our squares are one, one and five eighths, and then our the little spots that go um, our little bow tie part. Uh, those are those squares are one inch. So for that, we may do the colorway that had uh, that went around in the circle that there was four these four different. Uh, sections here which means we would then cut eight of the background and then two squares uh, of each the small and the large to get those to get those four separate colors I'm trying to see if I've got four different Wovens. I know I've got some wovens uh, that have a stripe on them. Uh, I don't know that that's something I want to have to worry about. Yeah, and then we can do um, uh, a gray and a dark and a gray and a dark. That was easy. With this being uh, our small block, um, it, on using these wovens, we're gonna we're gonna stitch and see how they do. I may have to run in and get the starch. Oh, we have to pick a background. <sighs> Simple white polka dot. We're gonna go with that. So we're going to cut eight squares, one and five eighths, and then of each of our four colors, we're gonna cut two squares at one and five eighths and two squares at one inch. So just as before, I, uh, after cutting 
all of these pieces and since they are a white on white I turned them uh, face side up so as to not to get confused on that we're going to go ahead and take each of uh, both of our small one inch squares for all of our wovens and go ahead and put those face down on a corner of each of our background squares and so from corner to corner here uh, and press our seams open and, and flip that out for our bow tie. So as tiny blocks go uh, in this sew along, this one's not bad at all. We've only got those, uh, we've only got these four little eight inch pieces, I'm sorry, eight little one inch pieces. Did I just say four little eight inch? Oh, goodness this is this is also why we don't do videos at night so for these blocks since I'm not for sure which way they're gonna lay out we're gonna go ahead and just put together the uh, bow tie part of it here as such um, and then we can lay it out and see which way we'd like for it to go. This one actually had uh, two sides. This piece has actually already been starched. Uh, can I don't know if you can tell on camera there the difference in the weave. Um, one of them is a little bit more brown. One of them has got a little bit of the more black with the brushed top. So we're going to... That's another thing to think about with these wovens. On our tiny piece, I did do it with the brushed side up. So we're gonna make sure to have our brushed side up on that block as well. So here they are. We can do them like this. We could go ahead, we could stay with uh, the pattern them oh no I like the circle looking one I didn't think I did until I turned them uh, the other direction and I really didn't I disliked them that way more so there we go okay we go there are our two sharply dressed blocks totally different color set uh, totally different setting uh, so they look completely different I also have to apologize we had a dog incident uh, we lost the camera we lost uh, he did something with the color but it's done. We got it done. Sometimes life happens. Sometimes distractions just add to the process and the memories. Block 14. Uh, we will see about doing the applique. If we don't do it next, we will, we will jump back and get it only because I'm super excited about block number 15, Highland Plaid by Crystal Manning. Really excited about this plaid block. Really excited. It's a good thing that it's late and I'm extra tired. My brain's not working because I would sit and work on this right now. I don't think the dogs would let me finish it though, but. Naraya, hey bunny, you come say hi. Naraya. Hey, sweet girl. Yep. So for now, thanks for joining. Thanks for um, visiting me uh, this evening in the living room and having some fun and getting some stuff done. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Cobra. Can't, you can't.
can't get up on the sofa yet. Not yet. Mom's not. Mom's not done. Wait, 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 wait. Go for it. Wait. Oh, what? Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. There's. I don't know. Ow. Thanks, bud. That's fun. That's super fun. Yeah, I'm not getting that shot back. I love dogs.